One example of extracellular signaling is a liver cell's response to the hormone epinephrine. In times of stress, epinephrine is released into the bloodstream from the adrenal gland. Upon reaching the liver, epinephrine binds to beta-adrenergic receptors on the surface of liver cells. Binding of epinephrine causes a conformational change in the receptor, allowing it to associate with a trimeric GS protein. Binding to the receptor creates a change in the GS-alpha subunit, resulting in GDP displacement and GTP binding. The GS-alpha-GTP complex dissociates from the G-beta-gamma subunits, then binds and activates adenylate cyclase. Activated adenylate cyclase catalyzes the formation of cyclic AMP from ATP. The effects of cyclic AMP are mediated through cyclic AMP-dependent protein kinases, or CAPKs. Cyclic AMP binds the regulatory subunits of CAPK, which releases and activates the catalytic subunits. A catalytic subunit enters the nucleus and phosphorylates one of its multiple targets, the Krebs transcription factor. Phosphorylated Krebs binds cyclic AMP response elements, or CRE sequences. With the coactivator P300CBP, it stimulates transcription of CRE-regulated genes. In liver cells, CRE-containing genes encode enzymes involved in glucose production. The end result is increased levels of glucose, necessary to energize tissues during the stress response.